Floors, windows, countertops, we usually never forget those when we're cleaning our homes, but there are several spots that are often overlooked and can get pretty grimy. Here to tell us about them is Nikki Peckett from Thumbtack.com. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Dylan. Thumbtack professionals have cleaned millions of homes, and I've got their top tips to share with you today. And we are starting with the kitchen sink because we that's are. pretty gross. That's exactly right. Now, most people wait until their drain is actually clogged mm -hmm. to clean it, but an odor is the first sign of a clog, and if you clean it then, you'll never have to use harsh chemicals again. Okay, so, so these are not harsh you're chemicals. You're going to take care of the drain do? there. Okay. We'll start with a little bit of hot water. I'm going to do a demonstration because this one's actually fun to watch. Okay. Do Pour. amounts count? or? Uh, this one, you can pour just like a pot of hot water down the drain. We're trying okay. to flush it. Then you're going to use Whoops. a little bit of baking soda. We need about a third <laughs> of a cup of baking soda. You can just toss that in there. Okay. Just kind of eyeball it. Is that it. not supposed to really use that drain? Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can skip the lemon juice. I won't pour the lemon juice. We, we usually <laughs> do lemon soda. juice to activate the baking soda. Oh, so wow. you can see it actually working. And then you'll want to flush the drain again with hot water. Okay. Again, I won't never get a clog again. That's right. amazing because I I don't ever see the regular clog cleaner. Yeah, that's wow. exactly right. Like that. And with kids, you don't really want to keep the drain cleaner right. in your house with hard Oh, chemicals. that's perfect. All right, sticking with the lemon theme. Yes. Do you have wood cutting boards? I do, and I don't know how to clean it. So wood cutting boards are not supposed to go in the dishwasher because mm -hmm. it actually degrades the life of the cutting board. So I'm going to show you an all natural way to clean it. Okay. Start with a damp cutting board. Mm -hmm. You're going to do coarse sea salt. All over. All over. Okay. And then take, you want to do it? You sure. can take a half a lemon, squeeze it, and scrub as you go. Squeeze. Oh. Does this oh, disinfect cool. as well? It or disinfects. Is it... Lemon also removes odor, which is great. Ooh. This is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it smells well, good, as too, fun right? As cleaning can be. <laughs> So that's it. Perfect. And so that's it. it. And then, yeah, and then if you have a pastry cutter, you can also use an old knife. Mm -hmm. You just want to pick it up and scrape down. You can see all of the Ooh. gross. Yeah, that's... Water coming off, and then just rinse it with hot water, and you've got a clean cutting board ready to go. That's amazing. It smells absolutely yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that's so yeah. fancy. All right, Jamie, um, you're right. in the bathroom. Well, uh, of course I'm in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> Jamie, do you clean we... your toothbrush holder regularly? Oh, of course I do. I put it in the dishwasher. But yeah, so we, we have that. The dishwasher that. is a that's... great place to do it. Okay, if, I was like, if that's you, wrong. If you either don't want to put it in the dishwasher yeah. or you have one that does not go in the dishwasher, right. which a lot of people do, mm -hmm. you can just use warm, soapy water. You okay. can have just a dot of dish soap in here. Right, because it gets moldy. I noticed, like, and then the toothpaste thingy gets moldy and most people clean it with harsh chemicals that they use for the rest of the surfaces in their bathroom. That would be not healthy. Okay. So you're going to clean it, dry it off, okay. and then you can actually disinfect it yes, with okay. a little bit of antiseptic mouthwash. So oh, you just okay. throw it on And that a saves towel. money because we got soap and, and most people have some mouthwash. That's you know? exactly right. And it's in your bathroom. So yeah. super easy to clean. Right on. Clean and disinfected. Okay, now, so what about light switches? Because you know, like people with kids, I, I used to have some kids in my life, and man, stuff gets messy. <laughs> that you know, it is gets so exactly messy. right. So light switches are one of the places that is the dirtiest and also the least frequently clean because Ooh. people touch it all the time. Okay. So you're going to start with a microfiber cloth, which okay. doesn't leave any lint behind, rubbing alcohol, which everybody has in their house. Right, right. You can put it on the microfiber cloth, and then you're just going to wipe down your light switches. Okay. You just wipe down the faceplate. Right. And then another quick trip, you can see we have two different kinds of light yeah. switches here. So this one has screws, which tend to collect dirt and grime. Mm -hmm. You can switch to these screwless face plates. They snap right off, and these can go in the dishwasher. Oh, they that's cool. They cost under $2 at the hardware store and takes five minutes to install. Okay, and now what about remote controls? Because that's, that's pretty dirty. Yeah, because I control like two doors, are, and yeah, it gets on there. And that is gets... exactly right. So with remote controls, you can do the same thing, rubbing okay. alcohol in a microfiber cloth. Okay. The other thing that most people don't know about remote controls is they actually come apart. So if you flip the remote control over, you can pull the back off. You need so an eyeglass. Screw. First, That's exactly right. Case. Always yeah. take the okay. batteries out before you clean. Okay. And then they, they come apart in this rubber panel, which is where all of your Cheeto dust gets collected. Yes, it does. You can dust. throw it in the dishwasher, and it'll be perfectly clean. Your remote will be what? like this. All right, we okay. saved the best for last all right, 15 Chantel. seconds. When our professionals told me you needed to clean lampshades, yes. I have to say I was pretty skeptical. Who cleans the lampshade? Nobody, but <laughs> lint brushes and 60 seconds, you can remove all uh. of the dirt and grime from your lampshade. And then 10 seconds, who knew you could just take a little, what is this, a Dyson? This is a Dyson. It's like the power tool of cleaning supplies. Okay. Right. And you can just use it on your headboard. And you know what else I thought it was interesting? We're almost out of time, but baking soda on the mattress baking and then just suck it up. Sprinkle baking oh, soda. It all removes the good odors. Nikki, thank you so much. Right. Thank you. All right. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.